Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, <clears throat> for this video, it's going to be kind of short and sweet, but I know there's folks out there that uh, don't have the slightest clue about what we're talking about when we say WSJTX or the setup procedure for this new digital mode FT8. So I want to do a very quick video to kind of get them pointed in the right direction. Not all encompassing, but just to get them off on a good start. So the first thing you're going to have to do if you want to run this new mode, FT8, you're just going to have to open up a browser and you're going to have to go to WSJTX. This is a software uh, developed originally by uh, Joe Taylor, an astrophysicist. Uh, specifically to do moon bounce communications, but it's now being used by amateur radio operators uh, to do uh, long distance, low power communications. And uh, here's the website. And if you can look up here and see it, it's uh, physics.princeton.edu. And it's got a bunch of other letters and slashes. Uh, so rather than doing that, just uh, put in WSJTX into uh, Google and it'll point you right to this page. And once you get here, when you open this up, just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and you're going to see a Windows version, a Linux version, a Macintosh version, and the source code. And what you're looking for is this WSJTX 1.8 Release Candidate 1, RC1. So depending on what kind of computer you're running, uh, pick your poison right here. Uh, click it. And it's going to open up uh, a little box allowing you to save it to your computer. Now once you've got it on your computer, uh, you just need to go up there and find where it saved it to uh, in your particular case and uh, double click it and let it run. And uh, what you're going to get when you do that, <coughs> let me I've already installed it, so let's come on over here. You're going to get an icon that looks something like this, WSJTX. And I uh, don't have my radio plugged in, so it's going to give me a little warning here, but no problem. So we'll double click this, and it will open up. <clears throat> and here it is. And let's just wait a second. It's just warning me that I don't have a radio connected. I'll say OK. And here's how you're going to fill it out for the first time. You're going to open up the general tab. You're going to put in your call sign and your grid location. <clears throat> That's really all you have to do there. Make sure the first three boxes are checked. And make sure the double click on call sign transmit enable is, can, is checked. And also the disable transmit after sending. The mode goes so fast that it's actually being done automatically in most cases. And if you don't have these two boxes checked, uh, you're going to have a few second delay before you can even press the enable button. This will press it for you automatically. And then at the end of the contact, uh, this will drop the carry, the uh, modulation for the digital mode and put you back into receive. So make sure these two boxes are checked. Under radio, uh, I've said this in a previous video, I'm using Ham Radio Deluxe to key the flex radio I'm running. So I selected Ham Radio Deluxe, but <clears throat> just look through this list. It's pretty extensive and find your radio and click it and just go with the settings that uh, it gives you after you do that for your first test of the transmission. <clears throat> now, if you look down here on this same page, 
and again I've got ham radio deluxe selected you'll see two boxes test the cat and test the push to talk and uh, once you get this connected you can click this button if it turns green uh, your uh, connection to your radio is good and then this button will light up if this one is green and you can click it and see if it actually uh, keys the radio if uh, these don't work then that setting up here that you just selected uh, is not going to work without you changing some of the parameters here I have noticed uh, a small error uh, with some of the radios uh, 8 1 and none are usually the proper settings. I have seen it default to uh, 8, 2, and none. And just simply by changing the 2 to a 1, it works. So be sure you take a look at that. And if your radio doesn't work after you test it, just come up here and change it to a 1. And then try it again, see if that doesn't help you connect to the radio. Uh, you're going to have to check your audio connections. In my case, they're to the Flex Radio, and my Line 1 audio is input. and I'm sorry, my Line 2, and my Line 1 is output. Uh, it will totally depend on your radio and your sound cord settings, uh, what you pick here. But usually, uh, let's click the box and see what we got. Usually you can tell some of them are absolutely wrong. An input would not have a microphone, for example. It would be coming from the radio. So uh, obviously these two are eliminated. And then it just depends on these two, getting these two right. And you've got a 50, I had a 50-50 chance. Uh, but I already knew that two was the input. Uh, how you can test that very easily is, uh, if you don't know, select one and say OK and then come out here and see if you're getting, uh, let me close this box for a second, and see if you're getting uh, signals here. It moves along pretty fast and uh, you'll get some decode signals here. If you're getting those decode signals, uh, it simply means that your input is correct. Your output may not be correct. All right, but certainly your input is correct if you're getting decodes. So, uh, you know, by process of elimination, I would leave this one alone. Start looking at this one to see if there was some other uh, sound card device that... Uh, kind of fooled you the first time around and um, you know select another one and try it you can keep testing that way and kind of eliminate down to the correct one eventually anyway that's all I usually set up in this and uh, check the audio test your radio and test the push to talk and then make sure the general settings are set up, especially these two boxes down here. And that about does it for setting up um, uh, to run FT8. Let's look at one more thing on there just to show you. <clears throat> Let's pop it open again. It's going to give me that OK box, but who cares? Uh, some of these other buttons might be of interest to you if you don't know anything about WSJTX. Uh, <clears throat> these are the standard messages that go out one after the other. So in other words, it transmits your grid, then it sends a signal report, you know, uh, and then it might send a roger, roger, roger if you're the one doing the CQing. Uh, and then it'll and finally then it'll send finally to 73, send to 73 at, the end. at the end. It will, it run, will run down, down through, this, through list this list automatically, automatically if you if have you this, have this auto, auto sequence, sequence button, button checked, checked, right checked here. right here. If you don't check, you don't that, check that, then you're going to have to be the one pressing these, these uh, little circles here 
to uh, let's see if I can get one of them to work anyway for a second yeah uh, you're gonna be the one having to press these uh, if uh, you don't have that auto sequence button pressed right here also you're gonna have to enable the transmit and halt the transmit if you're not doing it automatically but let me warn you <clears throat> It moves very fast with a 15 second exchange and um, you can kind of uh, you'll delay your reception of your signal if you don't do it automatically it goes so fast so just check this button for starters and uh, remember to come up here and check these two and then it'll kind of operate automatically and run through the list now what you have to do first is the moment you see a green CQ, you want to double click that CQ and from then on the software will take care of the entire exchange. And those messages will come up in this box. You can uh, look at one of my prior videos to see it actually in action. This one is only uh, for the folks that have never ever use WSJTX give them a little more uh, uh, comments about the software anyway with that said uh, I'm gonna call this one a take and as usual I wish you clear skies and keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right up here right over your head every single night see y'all later everybody be good clear skies in 73